I decided I'm going to vlog during the week when I have the time and I wanted to share my groceries that I just picked up obviously I always vlog during the weekends but there's things that happen during the week where I want to pull out my camera and show you guys so I'm like why not just share with you guys what I got because I spent $80 so let's get going first I got eggs I got these Crunchmaster multi-seed crackers. I've been stacking a lot lately because my appetite has been out of control because I've been just exercising a lot. So I picked these up. I heard they're good. Some spinach for salads. I got my plain Greek yogurt. I restock this all the time. Pumpkin seeds for my salads. Sandwich bags, so exciting. Purely Elizabeth granola was on sale, so I picked up the original one. Normally I get the pumpkin cinnamon one, but I'm not trying to be tired of that one, so switching it up a bit. I got some banana peppers for my salads. I think I spent so much money because I went to the grocery store hungry, so I picked up these two perfect bars. I got the coconut peanut butter one, love this one, and then the salted caramel. I don't think I've tried this one yet, but they were on sale, so I was like, why not? Also, when I was in the yogurt section picking up my yogurt, I saw this girl like directly go to these and she put like four or five in her cart. So I was like, those must be good. <laughs> I'm so heavily influenced, but it's mush, which are overnight oats. And I make these all the time, but it's just like a fun thing. So I don't know, it's nice to try new things at the grocery store. And this is the vanilla almond flavor. If she added five to her cart, they must have been good, right? Total stranger. Moving on, here's another bag. I got waffles. This photo really got me. I was like, that looks amazing. Yeah, I was hungry, clearly. Some blackberries, frozen raspberries. I like to put these on top of warm oatmeal in the morning, so they kind of melt and it's just really, really good. I got this seven grain lentil blend, so I add this to my salads just to bulk them up a little bit. I just said that my appetite has been huge, so just trying to add a lot of protein, carbs, fats to my salads. I got some tomatoes for salads, dinner, whatever. Package of chicken, we don't need to see that because it's ugly. This kale salad mix I'm obsessed with. If you live near a Whole Foods, get this. It's so good, it's so convenient, and it lasts in the fridge forever if you put like a paper towel in here. It lasts for like over a week. I also saw, this is brand new. This is Purely Elizabeth cereal. So it's the honey peanut butter cereal. Can't wait to try this. Obviously it's like brand new, so I'm super excited. I'm always supporting my girl. I love her so much and I will always support. Really exciting. I'm on a cereal kick, I guess, because I got another box of cereal. This is the Nature's Path Organic Flax Plus Maple Pecan Crunch. I've had this before, it's amazing. It's so good on top of yogurt, just plain. I love it. So yeah, obviously, probably wouldn't have bought this if I was not starving when I went there, but it is what it is. So yeah, just wanted to share that little grocery haul with you guys. This should keep me held over until probably a week. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I put my groceries away, did some work. I have a Target package that I wanna share with you guys. I made a TikTok of these shorts recently. They're from Airy. I wear them every single day. They're so comfortable. And the TikTok like kind of went viral, which is cool. <laughs> I'm so lame, I know. Anyways. Okay, so I bought new razors. These are the razors that I love to use. Really itchy on my legs, so I think it's time to change my razor. Um, I got socks. These are my favorite athletic socks to run in. This is not fun, exciting stuff, but hey. These are the socks that I love. Ooh, oh my God, I forgot about this. Okay, so I have a seamless set from Target already, but I wanted to try this pink one out. 
so we'll see it looks literally so tiny but hopefully it stretches and then i got a matching sports bra but it's in a different shipment so we're waiting on that but pretty cute thought that would be real adorable and then i also bought it in black because they're having 30 percent off so i was like of course yes so i bought a whole black seamless set as well this looks like okay it's like super basic and then i want like a nice cozy throw blanket for when i'm hanging out here and i don't have that so i bought this one it's super soft it's this nice light gray color it's from the threshold brand it had really good reviews so i'm really excited about this i feel like i just want to be like cozied up when i'm like reading a book and stuff like either on my bed or on my couch and i really needed one of these also i normally only buy things online from target if you guys haven't noticed by now if you watch my videos regularly because the targets in the city just like are not normal targets they're almost like boutique targets and they're small so that's kind of annoying but wow i love this this is so great i cannot wait to cuddle up with this ah it's so nice i'll try to link this for you guys so little story time i went to leave for a run this morning and i glanced over where all the packages are in my building and normally i don't even look but this package caught my eye and the second I saw a liquid IV logo I was like that is for me like a box that big is for me so I was so excited because I haven't received a package from them in like a year I'm pretty sure it's been like a full year so it's so crazy I don't know like what happened there I honestly thought they like kicked me off the list but <laughs> I'll leave my code down below if you guys are interested in trying liquid IV, but let's open this package together I'm really excited. Also another thing So I think I'm gonna try to go on a juice cleanse today. So earlier this week juice press no Press juice was having a sale and it was like 50% off eight juices. So I bought eight juices I probably won't drink all of you today. That's kind of crazy But I was like I kind of want to try to do this and every day this week I've been trying to but my appetite has been out of control lately I also have H&M clothes that I want to share with you guys I did a little shopping placed an order online just because I think I told you guys come September I have to start going back into my office three days a week so I'll be having to get ready every day and putting outfits together so I'm just buying more like fall style clothes so I'll share those after I shower and stuff but hold on okay, I need to get my scissors Oh, just cut myself with the scissors. Okay. Wow. This is a big box. I am very intrigued. Okay. So it says to lift up. Oh my God, you guys. This is insane. A little fanny pack. I'm pretty sure this is like a deck of cards very impressed oh my gosh so yeah if you guys want to try liquid iv use my code okay so as i was in the shower i was thinking to myself i was like why would i put myself through being miserable on a juice cleanse like that just goes against everything i stand for <laughs> and it's just not sustainable like i just don't want to put myself through that and it's dumb okay so i'm gonna make breakfast slash lunch i have these osiri little bagel thins i guess and then I'm going to use some egg whites. Honestly, I wish I had eggs, but I ran out. So I'm using these and then some baby spinach. And then I'm also going to put cream cheese on this. It's such a good combo. Hefty serving of cream cheese always. Hot sauce, salt and pepper. Simple. Hey, it's a little while later. I wanted to share this little H&M haul with you guys. I am like shaking because I had actually three cups of coffee today. I haven't done that in so long. I've really been trying to cut back on my coffee lately. So believe it or not, I've only been having one cup a day. Sometimes two, but one. And I've noticed like with my anxiety and stuff, it's so much better. I hate admitting that, but. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, H&M haul really quick. I was gonna get my tripod for my camera, but this is good, this is fine. Um, I'm just like, I don't miss this. Well, maybe I do, I don't know. I kinda like being jittery from coffee sometimes, but yeah, I've noticed. So this week I had to do a presentation for work and I only had one cup of coffee that day and I was not nearly as nervous, so. Anyway, let's do the H&M haul. So I don't know if I've shared these on my channel before, but I kind of bought these recently. They're like these cargo pants and they have this stitching detail, which I absolutely love. I saw a similar pair on Garage or PacSun and I was gonna buy them, but I forgot I had these because they were shoved in my closet. Next thing is I got this tote bag. So I've been having issues with like tote bags in general i normally have just like a canvas tote but my self tanner gets all over it and it just looks dirty and it just whoa gross so i've been struggling trying to find just like a plain black tote bag that i can just like bring out shopping when i'm out shopping and this one's so light and i just love that it's so plain next is this sweatshirt i love this sweatshirt i feel like h&m has like really good gray lounge items i just feel like they're so soft so it says los angeles on it i got it in a large because i wanted it to be super oversized especially like wearing this with bike shorts so cute and this is the type of material that when you wash it it just gets better with time so love that i also got all this stuff on sale they were having like 30 percent off online so this was only 15 bucks so we love that Next is this orange button down, which I think I shared in my last vlog that I was trying it on in store. And then next thing, which I am so, so, so excited for, I was looking for a pair of loafers like this. I just feel like they elevate any look and this chunkier sole is really in for fall this season. It was last season too, but I think it's gonna be very fashionable this season. So I always like to wear H&M shoes. I feel like they hold up pretty long. And then this dress, which is like a wrap dress, and then it ties. You can't really see because it's like wrinkled and stuff, but it's a nice basic to have. Oh my God. <laughs> Last thing, these pull-on pants, they're okay. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or not. I don't know what I'm planning to do tonight. I kind of want to go to TJ Maxx. So you guys, I did something so insane. It's not even like mid-August and I already put out my little pumpkin. So that was in my closet and I like had a little whiff of it when I opened the door today. And I was like, I need to take that pumpkin down. And now I want to go buy pumpkin candles. Like I'm in full fall mode and I think it's because the weather just randomly got super cool so when i went on my run this morning it was like in the 70s so i was like oh my gosh like i'm full pumpkin mode now and i was like this is crazy every year when august hits i like crave the pumpkin and i crave like cooler weather and then by the time thanksgiving rolls around i'm like so sick of pumpkin like i can't even fathom it i feel like i should chill but like also who cares and i also put <laughs> this little skeleton there love if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time then you would have remembered last season i was doing this little hide and seek game and hiding this guy around my apartment and you guys were saying if you could spot him so maybe we'll do that again let me know in the comments down below if you would want me to do that again i'm happy to do that in all of my upcoming vlogs until halloween i guess so comment the skull emoji down below and we'll get that going because I think it's fun. Okay guys, I'm about to head out the door. Here's my outfit. This top is from H&M and I just tucked it in my little bralette. I have these Zara, why am I out of breath? <laughs> these Zara denim shorts, I like them because they're, like, they're not super tight. And then I'm just wearing these Tommy Hilfiger sneakers. I haven't worn these in years, but yeah, I just cannot fathom wearing sandals in the city. I did it last weekend and my feet were so dirty and it grosses me out beyond belief. Like, ooh. And you don't even think that you're stepping in dirty areas, but somehow they get dirty and ew. Especially because I'm going on the subway. Just 
not even gonna bother. So this is the outfit. Um, so it's like 5 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything and I'm really craving Mexican food. But Leo and I are going to a workout class tomorrow and he said that we were gonna get Mexican. So I'm like, do I get it tonight? by myself and then just like eat it again tomorrow or what so I don't know we'll see if the craving goes away tonight we'll see if I end up getting food while I'm out we'll see I don't know where I'm going I think I want to like browse around TJ Maxx and I think I might go down to Soho and do some shopping at Zara and Mango because I want to get a new dress for my birthday so I do have this dress that I wore recently it's like a blazer dress and i really like it. it looks like super classy and nice but i figured why not get at least one new thing because i am doing activities like the whole weekend but um i don't know it's always a nice feeling to have something brand new so we'll see um that's it let's get going I think I might get it. Okay, now we're in Zara. Hey guys, I just got home and showered like the second I got in because you know I was riding the subway and I feel like it's dirty and gross. So when I was out, I picked up dinner from Kava. I will show you right now. So if you watch my last vlog, I make these bowls at home. So it's a Kava inspired bowl. So go back and watch that vlog if you want to learn how to make this, the at home version. So there's some greens under here there's chicken we have some pickles we have cucumbers tomatoes kalamata olives some pickled red onion some feta some corn we have hummus here this is red pepper hummus there's tzatziki there's one other hummus in here i forget maybe it's right there but yeah that's the bowl it looks really good it smells amazing and then i got some lemon herb tahini sauce to go on top of it but i'm so excited to eat this Hey guys, good morning, happy Saturday. I made this brown sugar shaken espresso. It's so good, I'll leave the recipe down below. I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I saw that they had this brown sugar syrup. I also got a pumpkin candle from TJ Maxx yesterday. The smell of it's amazing. I absolutely love pumpkin candles. It's like my favorite thing about fall and I also love skeleton, so love that and then i have a pumpkin vanilla scented candle going right now i have to take the labels off so we are full fall vibes here and it is only august 13th and i was like you know what i'm gonna burn this today because i'm in the mood so i just showered and i'm gonna put some makeup on and then we're going to a boxing class this morning so well afternoon it looks like it's gonna be beautiful weather out today i don't know if leo and i are gonna go out to lunch but obviously i will take you guys along also another random thing is i bought this basket from tj maxx yesterday i like how wide it is because i've been getting a lot more kitchen supplies and that's where i store them because obviously there's not much storage in this kitchen so 
the one that I had up here was like overflowing and it just looked really messy. So I thought that it was only $15, so good. So highly recommend TJ Maxx for storage bins and things like that. We finished at Rumble and now we're in a deli getting Italian sandwiches because we just couldn't get enough. Got a turkey wrap, a fresh sliced turkey breast. There's spinach on there, some peppers, mayo, so good. And then Leo got some pasta salad. He also got a sandwich, I'll show you that when he gets into it. What's in that? Breaded chicken cutlet, fresh mozzarella, roasted red peppers, hot peppers, balsamic. Amazing. We stopped at this super cute coffee shop. It's just so nice in here. Love it. We got ice mochas with almond milk. This is our weekend drink. We are walking to Leo's and we found this little hidden gem. So nice. You guys, this is the Thai place that we always order from and I've complained about it in my past vlogs about how we randomly would place orders here and not receive them and they're closed. And they have a sign that says store for rent, so really upsetting. Unbelievable. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning. We just randomly got these free Pellegrino drinks as we're walking on the street, but just wanted to check in and say hi. We're going to get coffee right now. And we don't really have any other plans for today. So, just walking around, enjoying the day. Happy Sunday. We're also cooking dinner later. I think we're gonna have tacos for dinner, so that should be good. Well, this is nice. We just got Joe's pizza. Hello guys, we are back home, showered, and going to make tacos for dinner tonight. Um, to be honest, I wanted a bagel this morning and we went to this bagel place and it was not good at all. So, started the day off on a bad foot and I don't mean to sound like a spoiled brat or anything, but you know, I don't eat bagels often and when I do, I want it to be good. So then, we are like, why don't we try and get some pizza to like really lighten the mood here. So we go to Joe's Pizza, which is like known for being like one of the top places in New York and we've even been there before and really enjoyed the pizza. Well, the location we went to today, I don't know, it just wasn't, wasn't hitting the spot. So at least I know that when I cook at home, it's going to turn out good. So, should be good. I'll show you guys the tacos when they're done. Leo and I were talking about why we think the bagel was so bad and one thing is the dough was just like really tough and it was toasted too much where it like cut the roof of your mouth and it just like didn't really have any flavor and even like the cream cheese was sliding all over the place like it was such a mess and do you have any other comments? Yeah, my mouth is surgery. How would you describe a good bagel? Like doughy, good, soft, pillowy? Mm -hmm. It wasn't fresh. Yeah, it tastes like it had been made like hours and hours and hours ago. But Days. What are you gonna do? We are finishing up the tacos. Here is some ground beef with spicy taco seasoning. I have some red onion in there as well some Mexican cheese. We're going to be dipping these. I actually am making a salad for myself just because I need all the greens. And we also have some guac here, some Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, 
corn tortillas. Might end up having that probably. And then we have some jalapenos. We have the fresh jalapenos, sliced tomato, salsa, some shredded lettuce. We have some chopped red onion and then some taco sauce. Also probably putting on some jalapeno sauce as well. Totally forgot we have lime here and then this is the jalapeno sauce. Here is the assembled version. Still working on mine, but look at how beautiful. Hi guys, it's Monday morning and my face is breaking out so bad. And I know I mentioned earlier in this vlog that I wasn't going to do a juice cleanse, but you know what? After this weekend and not eating so great, like I woke up with a stomach ache this morning, we're just going to keep going with the vlog and I'm gonna do a juice cleanse today. We'll see how far I make it. We'll see if I struggle. I need to drink a lot of water. I mean, I did have like coffee this morning with creamer in it. So I'm going to be taking this like very easy slash loosely, but we'll see how it goes. I've honestly never have done this before. I just feel puffy and gross and ugh, I hate that. So I came home early from Leo's this morning and then I headed straight to Whole Foods I went there as soon as they opened it was so nice and there was like no lines it was great but i had to get some coffee so i picked that up and then now we're here it's monday I'm gonna tackle the work day have to start work in like 30 minutes but yeah that's about it we'll see how this cleanse goes and we'll take it from there hey guys i put some makeup on got myself ready going to have the first juice of the day it's 11 o'clock right now and I don't know what's going on with me but I just like feel off and I feel like my anxiety is really bad like today and yesterday for literally no reason I don't know what's going on but hopefully this like helps I also think like I need to work out because yesterday we only like walked around which is like totally fine but like i don't know i'm just like feeling strange right now i don't know if i'm tired i don't know what it is it's just it's odd but this is the greens one cucumber celery spinach lemon kale and parsley hopefully it's good not bad all right here goes nothing it's 11:41. I'm drinking the greens 1.5 so this has cucumber celery lemon spinach kale parsley and sea salt so same one as before but we're on sea salt now and I have to say this one's worse 1230 I'm drinking the greens too this is apple cucumber celery lemon spinach kale parsley hopefully this one tastes better because there's apple in it we'll find out much better much much better it's funny because the previous one was so bad and this is like a treat all right back to work i wanted to update you guys i just made an oat milk latte because i'm just so exhausted it's 1 10 p.m i just drank that i don't know if it's because of the juice cleanse or just because it's monday probably just because it's monday um I know my like self tanner looks a little crazy but I just don't care I also put like a hair mask in because my hair has been like so grossly frizzy lately and just like dry so I put the it's a 10 spray in there and I also did some jojoba oil I don't know how to pronounce that but I'm just trying to drink a lot of water right now I don't know if I'm gonna make this full day without eating a single thing and just drinking these juices but I guess we'll see. I just feel like the day's going by really slow. <laughs> oh. I'll let you guys know when I end up drinking another one. Hey guys, it's 1.30. I'm going to have number three. I was most excited for this one. It's the Roots drink. It is apple, lemon, ginger, beet. So let's see how this tastes. 
love this one by far the best one so i guess i'll just give you an update of what's been going on today i am kind of behind with youtube stuff and vlogs so i have to edit a lot and i want to get outside at some point because it seems like it's a gorgeous day and i just want to like get out and walk and get some exercise and then i have one meeting later today for work i think it's at what time is it at 2 30 so in an hour and yeah that's about it wow i'm just realizing that there is 40 grams of sugar in this that is so alarming and so scary like i don't consume nearly this much sugar on a normal day so that's why i don't agree with the juice cleanses but you know we're just seeing how this goes <laughs> i'm okay i should say i'm okay i am not starving ironically which is so weird because i ate so many carbs yesterday had the pizza the bagel which were horrible and yeah we had like tacos for dinner last night so yeah i don't know but not too starving i've also been like drinking coffee which is like kind of an appetite suppressant sometimes for me sometimes it makes me hungrier i'm also drinking a lot of water so maybe that's it but my mind is not on food, which is really nice. Keep you guys posted if I start to feel any worse. Hi guys, just wanted to give you an update. I am not doing well. I feel really nauseous, so I ate nectarine and some pretzels. Probably not the best, but I just feel like nauseous and I think it's because all of that sugar and like mixed with the coffee that I drank, I just think it's like not doing well in my stomach. So I'm just gonna like keep drinking more water, but I just got a package from ASOS and I figured let's go through it together. I'm pretty sure this is only shoes. So I bought these loafers from ASOS, but I already bought these ones from H&M and I think I like these ones better. These are like almost too chunky. I think I'm gonna return these. So I'll probably go run to FedEx to do that after this. Okay, the next pair, I'm trying to buy my boots in advance because I told you guys I'm going back into the office soon. I want to make sure that I have some boots and these were on sale, just like the pointed toe. They're like simple. I feel like this can go with any outfit, so hopefully these fit. And then last are these heels. So this is what they look like. They have little knots there. I don't know. When I first pulled these out, I'm not really a fan of these. So I'm going to try these on, see how they look. Just not doing it for me. It's 4 p.m. I have to eat this. This Go Macro Bar. I'm not going to be able to make it through dinner. Like, what was I thinking? Okay, so I have to go return all of those shoes. It's the end of the workday, by the way. I also have to get these eyebrows done because I can't stand to look at myself when they're this hairy. And what's the other thing that I have to do? So the dress that I bought earlier this week, it was missing a button. So I had to drop that off at the tailor and I have to go pick it up today. I'm back home. I'm throwing these in the trash. I've learned my lesson and now I'm going to make dinner. <laughs> That's where we're at. I got my eyebrows done. I picked that dress up. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to have pasta surprise surprise and i have the i have these chicken sausages that i bought i always pick these up when they're on sale i just keep them in my fridge or my freezer just so i have them on hand at all times so i'm gonna cook all of these up i also like to eat these in salads it sounds weird but i like it and then i bought this ancient harvest elbow pasta pretty sure this is gluten-free yes so we'll see how this tastes again it was on sale and i was like I've never had gluten-free pasta before, so why not give it a try? I mean, it could be horrible, but I'm open to trying anything, clearly. So, I'm gonna make dinner, probably saute up some like spinach or broccoli. I also have these tomatoes that are going bad. They're not going bad, but they've been sitting on my counter for a few days, so that's that. But yeah, I mean, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here now probably very long by now but if you made it this far thank you so much for watching comment the spaghetti emoji down below that's like one of my favorite emojis because pasta is like my favorite meal so yeah thank you for watching again if you made it this far i love you and i will see you in my next vlog bye